guys, uh, Matthew and Andrew here. Today, uh, as you can see on the table, we're going to do a little science experiment. It's for my grade. It's due on Monday. And um, we're, uh, we're just going to do the project name is called What Makes Ice Melt Faster. And um, we, ha we have to have, if you're interested in doing a project too, we have to have four bowls. Um, that are the same size, so you can do the thing, the experiment right, and then you'll need, um, yeah, ice cubes. So we need, um, this, like, which is full of ice. So we need to put, like, two ice in each, with each of the three ice cubes in each. Um, and, uh, we, you need, you need one of these with, uh, these little singing things on it. Can you see it? Probably not, but like... Spouts, yeah, spouts, if you know what that is. Yeah, all of our cups here have spouts, so... Yeah, and then, uh, this is like a little measure thing. It's called the cylinder cup. Yeah, the cylinder cup. To measure how the liquid... How as it, it melts. melts. As it melts, yes. And then we need this, uh, measuring spoon, I think that's what it's called. It, it measures one-fourth of a spoon. And then we have sugar, salt, and sand. And so that's all the materials you will need to um, do the experiment. All right, so we switched to a better angle so that we, so you can see the experiment more uh, in a better view, you know? Um, so we're gonna have to get three ice cubes that are the same size. Um, and shape. Yeah, and shape. So, I'm gonna put salt on these now. One fourth, I think it was. There. Cool. And then my. Um, That's. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and then that's it. And then for the sugar, this one. Grab the sugar. Can I hurry, hurry. No. <sighs> okay, now that was it. Mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, Andrew. Get the sand. sand. Oh, wow. Sand everywhere. Okay. To this one. And in this one, we, we do nothing. We do nothing. So that's basically not much. So in this one, there's sand, sugar, and salt. Yeah, the, it, the ice cubes and the salt one are ice already melted. Okay, so now, so now we go to the fridge um, and wait at least an hour. So, uh, you will go do that now. All right, um, all right, everyone. Uh, we just put the, uh, the, the ice cubes in the, in the fridge and, um, refrigerator, I mean. And we just set the timer, uh, for an hour. And it says here it should be, uh, it should go off by 7.30. Um, and now, for now, we just have to wait. And you can, if you're doing this experiment, remember to never, uh, forget the timer because that'll mess up your project. So after one hour, you go check on your ice cubes. But then you always, you, you also have to tell everyone who lives with you to not, to not, not to open the refrigerator. Um, uh, so the ice, so your ex if they do, the experiment will be ruined. So you have to, you can check after an hour, and if one of the ice cubes is melted halfway, um, you have to take them out and then uh, put them in here. The liquid, the, liquid, the water that they uh, 
yeah, the liquid that they melt it into. Um, so you have to put it in here because it's easier because it has spouts. And then you can uh, carefully pour it into here and see how much it measured up to. To and see which one melted faster. After you measured the ice cubes, you have to leave it at room temperature and measure that liquid, how much it melt, and take notes. Yeah. And after that, you could do it. You have you have to do it three more times to uh, measure on accuracy and see if you were right. So, what is your hypothesis? Which one do you think will melt faster? Well, um, maybe the one with salt, because before we put it in the refrigerator, it kind of already started melting a little bit. I think the sand. Ah, uh, yeah, who knows, until we see it. So now, we're just going to wait for the hour to go by so that we can check on our ice, and then check on our ice cubes. We'll then resume the video and tell you what happens. After one hour in the fridge, the bowl with the salt label has already melted. The cube's halfway down. Uh, we are now ready to tell measurements of the melted ice in all bowls. To do this, we pour the liquid inside the container with spouts and then transfer it to the cylinder to measure. After measuring the, the melted liquid, we leave it we leave the bowls at room temperature and wait for the remaining ice to melt to measure that too don't forget to repeat this process at least two more times for accuracy so hello guys um i have the results in already and um so my conclusion was that salt makes the ice melt the fastest, um, and like uh, yeah, I pointed out on this chart right here, this little paper. So on this chart, I measured the the amount, uh, the substance was like um, how much was how much melted, how much unmelted, and then the total, and then the percent. The percentage of me um, melted. So, oh, that was the video for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, um, please hit that like button, um, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Bye!